In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started constructing the isometric of the toe stop base. I'm actually going to be using one of the help sheets provided. I'll kind of move it over here for you to see. The help sheet shows the dimensions that we're going to start using to construct this base, but I'm going to draw out the entire base, and then I will actually stop, and then I'll have another video where I actually insert the countersink and the counter bore into that toe stop. So for now, I'm in AutoCAD, I've got a blank drawing here, and I'm going to right click on my grid, go to settings, change it to isometric snap, and remember when you're in isometric snap, you're drawing isometrics, you have got to keep your ortho on, very, very important to do that. So, um, let's see, the first step that I'm going to do here is go ahead and draw out an iso circle for that, the overall di diameter of four shape, so here's an ellipse. I for ISO circle, I'll just click wherever to start that ISO circle. And remember you can toggle F5 to go between your ISO top, ISO left, and ISO right. So I've got it here. I've got a diameter, D enter, 4 enter. I'll kind of zoom in here. So I've got the basic shape that I'm going to start with. What I'd like to do is go ahead and just create a line. And this line is going to be the radius, so it's a distance of 2. And I'm going to use that line to actually copy. This is just a construction line for now, but I'm going to use the copy command since we cannot use offset when we're doing isometrics. Unfortunately, it's a total bummer, but I'm going to copy this line over a distance of 2, so just the radius over a distance of 2. I don't need this one anymore. I was just using that as a construction line, and now I can connect just from corner to corner here. So now that I've got this shape, I'm actually going to work on the top part. Let me kind of pull this back over here. So I've got this top shape here. Now I'm going to work on drawing this. So it tells me, if I look at the sketch, this is actually a distance of 2, and then I'm going to go over 1, down 0.58, and that's where I'm going to find the slope, because again, angles and chamfers don't work in isometric, since we're already kind of at an angle. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to start the line command. I'm going to draw a line. I need to go straight up, so I'll hit F5. I'm going to draw a line at a distance of 2. I'm going to come over 1. I'm going to come down 0.58. And that 0.58, the way that we got that was actually having drawn out the side view of this, where we drew that 60 degree angle, and it just happened to be the delta um, was the difference there. So 0.58, that's good. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So up a distance of 1, over, oops, up a distance of 2, sorry, over a distance of 1, down a distance of 0.58, and then just connect the dots. And erase out these guys. <coughs> now let's see, I've actually got this line right here is going to come up from the top where it's 2, it's going to come down 1.25 but I don't have a top line to offset or copy down, so I'm just going to copy this bottom line, the difference. So 0.125 from 2, I'm going to copy it at 0.75. <coughs> and I'll go ahead and just use my copy command. Just copy these guys right here and here. I can trim it out now. I like to trim as I go. It just keeps it keeps it clean looking. I'm going to do another line just to get this back side here. I need to go off this direction, so F5 will let me do that. I'm going to pull it back here and go a distance of 2.125. And actually now that I've got that distance, I can use my copy command instead of having to draw a bunch of lines at 2.125, I'll just copy this. I think that should do it. I'm going to copy the lines that I already have, so I've already got this slope. I'll just copy it right back there. Done. Copy this one. I am all about using, the, using what you've already got instead of having to redraw things. So I'll just copy this line back here and I'll copy this line back here. Go ahead and trim that out. Looking good. 
All right, so now I'm going to do this back line here. The total height of this thing is 4. And I'll just kind of draw a line coming straight out here, that distance of 2.125. And now that I've got this, I'm going to copy this ISO circle and line. Copy those guys straight down a distance of 2. I can kind of connect these. Before I trim it, I'll connect them so I can get the quadrant here. And then I just need to come here and come through here and trim. So I'm going to trim here, here, and here. Trim this guy and that guy. And I've got the overall shape of the base of the, of the toe stop. The next video I'm going to show you how to do the counter bore and the counter sink.